Elizabeth Street, Little Italy. Hangs with his pals, yeah, that's where he'll be. It's Vinny, a friend of mine. Stand up guy from the Lower East Side. Take it from me, he's one of a kind. It's Vinny, Velotine. Welcome to Tell It Like It Is, the Vinny and Mariana Show. Hello, Mariana. Hello, Vinny. How Hello, are you? Hello, my baby. How are you? Good. Oh, tonight we have a hell of a show. We do. And, uh, you know, I, I, was, I mentioned it earlier. Hmm. You know, I was on a bus today, and uh, one of these long buses where there's like you get out two, two or three different ways you get out of that bus. And yeah. the bus was packed with people. I mean, it was. I had a seat. I was sitting down. And uh, there was this woman at the end of the bus with a kid, and she says, I'm getting out, and she couldn't make it through the crowd. And there's like three doors that open up where she could get out. And so, you know, and she's trying to push her way through the crowd. Mm. And the driver says, exit through the, the rear door. And she's still trying to make it through the crowd. So I told her, I said, excuse me, I said, you get out over there. You know, you can get out that door. She looked at me, she goes, mind your own business. Oh, boy. So I left that alone. <laughs> All right. So that was one woman that, that kind of like told me where I was at tonight. Then in the diner, mm -hmm. around the corner, I walked in. I was all by myself. Nobody was around me. She goes, how many? I went like this. Twelve. <laughs> she goes, don't get smart. <laughs> Never raised me a stupid question from me by myself. <laughs> so there was two women tonight. So You're done. You're done for today. Yeah, they, they <laughs> for say, tonight. It comes in threes, right? Mm -hmm. Now I'm not going to say that. You better until, watch it. I know, I know. <laughs> anyway, tonight, you know what we do? We have a hell of a show. Now, we had this guy named Dennis Dell. We did. On the show. Over the summer. Over yep. the summer, right? Yes, we did. When he was solo yes. at that time. A solo yeah. artist. Yes. Now he's with a, a group. Mm -hmm. And um, this guy and, and his group, we were listening to them do the sound check. Fantastic. And, they're fabulous. And, yeah. and the songs that they sing, you know, I love to have the doo-wop groups on my show because it reminds me, when I was young, when I was going to reform school, you know, <laughs> things like that, you know. When you when were I, bad. <laughs> when I was a little bad, you know, not, not too bad. I'm still, I, yeah, I, was at, I was, went into reform school. I just recently got out. I'm only joking. No. I, um, and uh, so I was, don't look at me that way. You know I didn't get, just get out. And, uh, <laughs> So I was, we were listening to them uh, do the sound check, and these guys were just so great, and I can't wait to hear them all sing. Yes. So please, give them a nice hand. The chimes. The chimes. All right, there you go, all right. <laughs> Play. 
<laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay. 1961, late 1961. I was I was at a, a cafe down in Little Italy. <laughs> what a and, surprise! Uh, <laughs> what else new? is new? What else new? is new? You know, yeah. and this place is on Mott Street. It's not it's not Le Al Mulberry Street with all those tourists and all those people in there. Mm -hmm. This place uh, is right on Mott Street between Hester, I mean, uh, between uh, Houston and Prince. Okay. And uh, it's at 285 Mott, and it's called. Uh, Cafetel. Cafetel. Social yes. club. It's not a social club. It's called Cafete. Cafetel. 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 Social yes. Club. And I went in there at night and I was with someone and we ate. And, and this was the first time you had been into this well, location? Well, no, actually, I, w I went there once before when they first opened. Okay. And, um, but now this is like months later. Mm -hmm. And I finally decided, let me go in there, you know, sit down, have a little dinner. Because it's, it's a cozy place. Um, it's it's away from all that crowd, all nice. the tourists. Mm -hmm. The food is excellent. The price is right. The, the service is great. And I know the people there. And uh, I really actually enjoyed myself in it. I really did. And then they have entertainment on Saturday night. Oh, really? Yeah. You know, like, uh, you know who you know saying? Remember Maria Georgia or whatever her name was? She used to work on the show. Well, that was before your time. I think that was way before We're my time. To the hips, but that was before our <laughs> time. Okay. Yes. And uh, she was singing that night. Yeah. And from what I understand, they have different ent entertainment every, every Saturday, Saturday night. Nice. So it's really a nice place to go. You should check it out. Again, it's at 285 Mott Street. And they say they offer espresso, gelato, paninis, pastries, they have everything. 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 Right. And it's really, really a good show. We should go and film a show there one day. Well, he asked me if we could oh, wow. if we would we do that. We should. What do you say? I'm in. All right. <laughs> I would uh, love to my, try uh, some of this food. We're joined to the hips. <laughs> Why not? You know, it's 
The husband gets a little jealous when I say that. <laughs> he but that's does all right. not. Her husband, not mine. No. All right. Anyway, <laughs> please, mine. when you get a chance, go down to this place. I want you to please do. tell them uh, Vinny, Vinny sent you, Vinny Vella. Vinny and Mariana like sent you. There you go. Hey, <laughs> Vinny and Mariana sent yeah, you. There you go. Mariana yeah. trumped me the next time. It's yeah, Vinny song. was going back in time with all those songs. I was, yeah. I, a lot of good memories. Oh, right? my oh, God. <laughs> I was just telling them that life was so easy back then. Uh, Today is all guns and drugs and mm -hmm. so now tell me something now with this group it used to be Lenny, it was Lenny Coco Coco's and the Chimes. Lenny yeah. Coco and yeah. the Chimes. Okay. Right. Now I know recently, not too long ago. May eighth he, he passed away. May eighth. Yeah, May oh Lenny passed yes. away. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now it's from what I understand is his daughter is the manager? Yes, Andrea. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. Collins Coco, she's the manager. She took over the. Uh, right, okay. And, and also the, her mom, the, Lenny's wife. They, right. They're both in control. Wow. wow. So they're both yeah. in cahoots yeah. with this. Yeah. Oh boy. And but she was. She's also the manager for Lenny Coco and yeah. the Chimes as well. No, she yeah, came so, into the oh, race. you know, first of all, let me introduce. Yes, we got We got Dennis. We got Joe. We got Dennis again, and Chuck at the end. Right. That's Welcome everyone. Right? Yes. Go. Good job, Vinny. <laughs> well, all right. All right. Dennis, when you were last here, yes. you said that you had just gotten the invitation that's, to join this group as the lead singer. Yeah, yes. Yeah, that was in sometime in August, I believe. It was. Yes. Yeah, right. Yeah. What happened was I had met Dennis. Oh, Dennis, I right. see. The uh, other dentist. <laughs> yeah, this was about a month after I think uh, after when he passed away. Right, it was about a yeah, month after. Ah. I met him. I, I he had his own show on, on the Long Island, and uh, he asked me, he said, you know, maybe uh, you know, would, it would be possible, you know, if you have an interest. And he introduced me to the daughter. Mm -hmm. I met up with Andrea, and we uh, we had a nice chat. Then once they heard you. And, and then we, uh, we 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 they set up auditions. They had uh, several uh, other uh, yeah. vocalists that came in. And then I. I I fit and the, you uh, begged. I fit and the, <laughs> and I was asked, and I. I, I well, you want it was love at first sight. We, we asked if we could keep them. That's what it was. <laughs> you know, yeah. Yeah. You know who's trying to get the credit that I keep calling you, Basil. Oh, Basil, my boy. He keeps Basil. telling me, oh, if it wasn't for me, yeah, you wouldn't have him, blah, blah, blah. Right, for Basil, yeah, he introduced me. He's all right, he's, he's all right. Well, because we met you at the village of Pelham when that's they were right. having a festival, that, music right. festival out there over the right. summer. Pelham Manor, they had the yes, festival, right? Yes. The gazebo. The gazebo, <laughs> exactly. And that, that was a pretty nice festival. It was great. When he came down, we were all singing to tracks at the time. Oh, yeah. We started the <laughs> track, and I, I said, oh, I'm sorry, guys, and I went down and shut it off because I thought I put on the record. The original. He was so Lenny close on. to Lenny on You're there, kidding. He, he blew us away. Yeah. He thought it was yeah. actually, he put the wrong, I put, instead of putting well, the track Lenny on, singing, I put that, that oh. Lenny was actually singing. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was surreal It was and, and a little bit emotional. But yeah, I can emotional. only imagine. It was emotional, very much. Hearing that. Yeah. Now, with sure. Lenny, yeah. now with Lenny, uh, uh, when, before he passed away, how, how long has this group been, well not this particular group, but Lenny Coco in the chimes, Oh, he goes back to the. Uh, they go back into the fifties. Right. Is anyone? He was singing for six fifty-six years. No, no. None of the originals. I was only four uh, years old uh, back then. As a matter of fact, two of the. No, the originals was his wife two, and his mom. Two, I believe. Yeah. 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 Just recently, one. Okay. Yeah. There's only one original left. Uh, so, going off of that, how yeah. did each of well, we know how you joined mm -hmm. the group, but how did each of you yeah. end up? Joining I Lenny Coco and the Chimes. Oh, well, so Dennis, I you're the one that. Yeah. Dennis <laughs> has the story <laughs> that one too. Dennis has the full story to that one. Yeah, yeah I, I was, uh, I was with Lenny. Uh, we did a lot of shows together. It was in other groups. As a matter of fact, we all sang together at one time or another in different huh. groups. Okay. Mm. And uh, Lenny had asked me to join, and uh, I go back a long way with Lenny. Mm -hmm. But you have worked with Lenny, though. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Oh, yeah, we sang. We, we were with him. Uh, West Bay Music you know, Fair and the other Right up to the end. Yeah. yeah. So who's been with the group the longest? Well, we all had the longest yeah. Dennis yeah. Dennis had the longest You went Chuck? Well, I brought them all in. So you brought I was them really all in. in. Wow. So we, so we all this yeah. all to you, pretty much. He's responsible. He's, <laughs> responsible. He's, He's responsible, your responsible for everything. Yeah. 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 Wow. I just got bigger and bigger. <laughs> we got uh, I did good, though. I did you really did. Good. I think you did an excellent yeah. job. No, this, this, no, you guys were fantastic. Terrific. Lenny wanted, wanted to have the original sound mm -hmm. of what the group was originally. The original sound. And I said, guys, we got to put the sound together. And every one of these guys put it together, and we, we knocked him out. Wow. Boy, that second song that you sang up there, that really got to I'm me. I'm in the mood for love. Yeah, that was the uh, second hit. No, no, the second one. Yeah, I'm in the mood yeah, for love. Yeah. I'm in the mood for love. No, no. He's talking about uh, sugar pie one. honey cup. Oh, and that's right. the, the sugar oh, pie? Oh, the get ready? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get that's ready. Sort of something ah. we, actually, yeah. the, uh, the, uh, with the song of my heart, that was one of Lenny's yeah. uh, songs that they did. 
I made a little twist into it. I added a little more of a variety. Get yeah. ready and, and the four tops. You know? uh -huh. Like we usually open up a show with that. Uh -huh. you know? That, that goes over A showstopper, well. yeah. yeah. You guys you, brought back such memories. So I love it. This, it's timeless. You know, me bringing you guys on the show and all these doo up groups on the show, it just really mm -hmm. keeps me alive inside. Mm -hmm. It yeah, does. It keeps like, memory alive. And that's, that's all sure. my, you know, I got Sirius Satellite Radio in all my rooms, mm -hmm. and oh, it's yeah. all I listen to. It's, yep. yep. it's all the See, doo up. I'm so old that we didn't call it doo up. So we, what? Call, we, we called it rhythm and blues. It R wasn't called doo-wop, rhythm we, and blues. It was called back rhythm, in rhythm, back rhythm in and blues, day. and then Alan Freed came in. Whatever you in. want to call it, I listen to it every day. He calls it doo-wop, you call it rhythm, rhythm and blues. blues. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Now, you know what I've got lined up to come on the show? Um, Gary U.S. Buns. Mm -hmm. Oh, right, you, you mentioned that. Thing. And right. um, Gary, we were just on the show with him. What's his name? Ah. Antonio Orlando. Yeah. Yeah. Antonio Orlando. Yes. Good. He said, you know, if he's on, if he's here mm -hmm. in January, which he's going to be in New York in January. in January. If that's one of the times I'm doing the show, he'll come on. Mm. Oh, great. Have you guys ever heard of uh, Louis Scoop? I know Louis. Sure. You know Louis? Yeah. He is... Well, he, he did a part in the movie The Bronx Tale. That's right. Uh -huh. that's right. <laughs> and he is some, is yeah, some he's entertainment. Mm. He's, we got him definitely coming good, on good. Yeah, in good. January. Yeah, I nice think guy. you met him, right? Yeah, we nice. had him once before when he yeah. started. Him for he years. is yeah. fantastic. Yeah. And then recently, I, re I just had Al Saprihenza. Al Zappianza. That sounds familiar. Al Sounds familiar. He's been in so He's many movies. He's been in uh, Sopranos and... Uh, yeah, that's why I the name. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Deborah... Deborah Renard. They Renard. now have a, yeah. a duo going yeah. as far as music. Oh, that's nice. oh. But as far as your music and putting this together, knowing that you just joined the group, how often do you rehearse to get all the nuance within well, we, this and the sound? We try to sound. make it a habit of getting together at least once a week, just to mm. brush up and you know, just keep 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 ourselves loose, you know. Right. Keep, and then uh, every now and then we'll, we'll think of another song to do and we'll work on it, you know. How many songs do you have all together? About. Oh, we have a. We have a good what, 20, what about fifty? We, we could do we could do several hours of music. Oh, we could we could do That's like fantastic. yeah, we could do like two full shows, you know. If, if it's needed, you know, we, yeah. we don't do too. We do like one show, maybe like a forty-minute show. And <laughs> upcoming shows that our viewers should know about. Yeah, right now we we did a couple of fundraisers, and, and the our manager now she's working on some some exciting stuff for the new coming year. Mm -hmm. A couple of cruises. Oh, great! Yeah. It's not, cruises. Yeah, it's not, oh, that's great. Yeah, yeah no, it didn't materialize yet, yeah, but those. yeah, we, we're working on. Then we're going to do some. Uh, <laughs> They got concerts like these park concerts, and you know, like in Westchester. Mm -hmm. all around, shake you know. them down. Yeah. So shake she's them down. Do so she has a lot of promos yeah, out to different promoters, and and we're gonna we're, we're gonna be doing some. That's nice, why nice she nice couldn't be here today. She was exhausted. She's been running all yeah, over the place. Meeting whatever you know. So many good for you guys. So we got some good uh, good prospect, you know, of getting some good. Well, I wish you guys all the luck in the world. Thank you. You know, and and if. Ever you, now, you have my number. Yeah. And if ever you guys are playing anywhere in New oh, York or in the area, just let me know. We'll come and support you. Me and Mariana. Sure, sure. That's what we were going to be down in Florida, too. That was one of the things she was talking yeah, about. Oh, are you? We are about in Florida. Well, yeah, I'm taking a band on the road, so, you know. They're going to be on the East Coast, <laughs> probably, you know, more, more than likely. Right the East Coast, I think she mentioned. So you mentioned some of the villages, the, the place called yeah. the Villages in Florida. I don't know exactly. Well, where, that's a, a huge big, place. Big place. It's, it's like oh, that's it goes really from the East Coast to the West Coast. Mm -hmm. so you pretty much say. Yeah, it's, and we'll it's be great. revisiting all the places he's already played. Oh. Yeah, you know, so. I can't. I can't understand why I can't think of that guy's name. <laughs> it's gonna drive me crazy. The show. He gave us. He gave I know Maria. I uh, Maria. He's in Florida. Yeah, he's in we'll Florida. Florida. Um, he gave. Uh, Scotty, you don't remember? <laughs> We're trying to. What did he say? No, he doesn't. He gave what's her name? Uh, I know, I can't. I can't even think of her. Jackie DiMaggio, a little token. No, I know exactly what you're talking about, but I can't remember. You can't, the... you can't remember his name no. either. So it's not only me. No. Oh, okay. No, no, no. Right. It's not Because I know I'm not losing. I know I already lost it. So that's another <laughs> story. Right? Okay. Already. <laughs> oh, wow. So uh, we're going to have him on the show also. All right. As soon as he comes back to New York, mm -hmm. he's been out of circulation right. for a little while. Mm -hmm. uh, Damn, I can't think of it. Well, keep on thinking. Well, right can we go down the, the line and just, can you fill us in a little bit about how you got involved in music in the first place? Well, I've, I've been involved since I'm six years old. And so it was already in Actually, the blood. My father, my dad inspired me. But he was, he was a, an old-time drummer of the Big Band Day. 
And he always had that, that rhythm, and then he bought me a set of drums when I was like when I was a six-year-old kid. I used to drive my neighbors crazy. Oh, wow. But I, I just loved music from that point on. I just kept going at it. Then I, I put my own group together and kept going, you know, as I did a solo for... I still do a solo, too, every now and then, you know. Your solo work, yeah. Yeah, and then uh, I work with, the, you know... When I met you, were doing solo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've been doing solo for years. So. Before we lose time really yeah. quickly, can we... How, how about yes. you? When did you start singing? Oh, or? Well, I started with music... Uh, when I was, I guess I was eight years old, and uh, I started playing the accordion. Now, all Italian families have an a priest and an accordion <laughs> player, and I was right. supposed to be both of those things, and neither one of them worked out. Hmm. Because in the 60s, no one was playing accordion. Everybody was playing a guitar or a drum. So hmm. I said, well, I had accordion for a couple of years. I was playing the uh, piano. I used to work in a supermarket on a cash register. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and you knew all those prices back then, too. You knew right? all the numbers, right? Yeah. 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 That's right. So, <laughs> Always that, about that's the numbers. That's what started for me. And, you know, just different things evolved over the mm. years. Yeah. Everybody, everybody's cash register pulled in at the end of the day. Four or five hundred of mine were oh, pulling. Too. Mine were pulling $45. Yeah. Because everybody in my building was doing shopping. I was letting everything go by. Hey, hey, I rang up the cupcakes, <laughs> the milk, the bread, what everything go by the meat. I rang up this. Yeah. Oh, please. But I was getting juiced up at the end of the day. Yeah. I would go around and knock on everybody's door they take and care collect. Of you, man. Oh, man, that's another. I'm sorry. What? You can't think of that guy's name? Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're gonna gonna figure. We All right. only have a few minutes left, but that, I know oh, you're coming right, back yeah. for the next can show, we get, and we'll continue with that question yeah. because I want to know how both Dennis and Chuck. Can we come back for the next show? Can we get you to sing one more? Of course, Please. They, of course. The guy gave us we're the motion. Do, we're going to do his the main hit. The main hit okay, once in a while. That's once in a while. 1961. Oh, yeah. Ladies right. and gentlemen, right. once again, the All time. Right. Please. Woo. All right. Talk!